Generic greetings. You know it's a sci-fi game when you're on a planet and the trees glow in the dark. This is TerraTech, a sandbox building fighty type game thing where you build essentially a vehicle out of parts and then fight other vehicles. They're called prospectors. And you're on this sort of barren land and you will roam around, gather resources, gather different pieces of equipment, explore, find new parts, build up your bot to be better, stronger, faster. There's also some base building stuff in it as well. It's a game I featured several times on the channel, just not as of late, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to jump back on on it and uh, see what it is like, and I've been pleasantly surprised. Not that the game was bad previously, it just was in early access, there was a couple of bugs here and there, and um, generally just unfinished, but uh, it seems to be a lot better. There's now uh, questing, like missions and stuff that you can do. You've got like a trading hub, you have different modes, uh, you've got like a campaign, which is what I'm doing at the moment. Also, uh, like a random sandbox mode and uh, challenge modes, things like that. Either way, I've got a beverage. I'm going to show you a little bit of the game. Today's beverage is... Mm, stop the robot. Hmm. That's quite nice. That wasn't the uh, name of the beverage, by the way. It's not called Stop the Robot, which would be uh, some sort of three-in-one oil. But uh, no, it's a nice cup of chamomile tea. This is the monstrosity that I have built. And as you can see, it is... Uh, uh, yeah, it needs some work, and that's what we'll be doing. We're going to rip it all apart, essentially, and build it up from scratch, and then see how we go. So we're going to press B, and that uh, lifts us up off the ground. And then what you can do is simply click and drag parts, and then sort of move them about. And uh, obviously, parts are attached to different pieces, and if you pull the pieces off that, aha, uh -huh, they're attached to different things, then it's just going to make everything fall apart, and... Um, Eventually, you will end up with your central cabin, which is this thing here. This is what you're supposed to be in, I guess. We're classed as a prospector. I think we crash-landed on here for whatever reason. Just I'm sure there's some sort of conspiracy, and neither of the prospectors around. Either way, I don't really care too much. This is what we uh, need to defend. If this dies, then we lose the game. So we need to protect that, and the way you're best off doing that is by encasing it in a load of other blocks, which is what we're going to try and do. So we'll put a block there, and then we'll place uh, another double block next to it. Have we got a third double block? Yes, we do have a third double block, which we'll place right next to it, like so. And what I want to do is have a fairly big armoured front end. So there's no way that anyone can see towards this uh, see this block in the centre. Because if that dies, as I said, then we will lose the game. And uh, that's not what we're about here. Uh, but what I do want to do is place like a central space. Fine. Um, either side. Um, oh, this is going to be a bit dodgy. We might have to actually rip that off and move it along like so. Because I have a bit of a plan. I have a cunning plan, my lord. And the plan is... I've already messed it up, actually. Let's pull that down. Put that in there. That seems about right, what we're trying to achieve. I want it so that the... Actually, we can use these. We can put them up there and rotate them around like so. Yes, I want it so that we can have the wheels all covered up, because if you get your wheels shot off, then uh, it ain't good. As many veterans of Road Wars will attest to, you know, if you get your wheels destroyed, then you're pretty much out of the game. So we're going to place them in t inside the bot. We might cover them up. We might not. We'll see how it goes, but uh, let's just place them on here. Uh, the good thing about this now is that because it's had a lot of um, patches into it, it's uh, a lot more streamlined, so building is a lot easier. The rotation used to be a bit of a nightmare, but it seems to be a lot better. You, you essentially just mouse over where you want, and if that doesn't fix it, then uh, you right-click and it uh, will rotate it around. Instead of the... I think the other system was like a... I don't know what buttons it used, actually, but uh, it just seemed to be a bit more annoying. Maybe that, that was my interpretation of it when I was playing it. It was... Uh, a little bit more problematic, but hey-ho, let's just keep on building, and it's getting dark now, which is never a good thing, because it means my solar generator is no longer on. This is my base, by the way, and um, it's not something you knew. It was in the build I was playing previously, probably about, hmm, probably about six months ago, maybe, maybe even longer. I can't remember the last time I played this game, but uh, yeah, it was already, and you had like a, you had like a, um, Solar array, you had your batteries, and this bubble that repairs stuff. There's also a shield thing in as well. They have changed things, so now you will trade and get missions from that local trader over there. It's like a, a, a thing that anyone can use, and it also encourages, um, I guess, a bit of conflict between different, uh, different bots because you have to go over there. Anyway, so I've put all of this together, and it's actually... I actually haven't got the parts that I want. I'm going to have to uh, look at this terminal, see if I can buy some parts. I want some of these two blocks. So I'm going to buy one and then two, and it just fall, falls out of the sky. Um, we will just rotate these around like so, and then the same on the front. And that means it's protecting pretty much everything now. Look at that. So if I drop it on the ground, it will be... 
uh, not very manoeuvrable because it's got a very long wheelbase. It doesn't like to turn, but its uh, forward speed is quite good. I've just I've just made a bus, haven't I? That's all I've made here. Okay, let's just stop it, and we will um, press B to bring it back up. If I pull those out, uh, yes, we do have more space for wheels. Let's just put some more wheels in then, and perhaps pull that down and have it like uh, in there. No, that's wrong. Uh, there. Oh, look, other planets. Very nice. And you know what? Do we just do we pull that out and go for even more wheels? I I would like to say that is the case, but I also can hardly see anything. It's so dark. There we go. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, now it's more like a tank. Yeah, I'll go for that. That's very nice. With a big, uh, heavy armored front end. Okay. So we will put in these double blocks. We'll put the double blocks across. I'm guessing that has more health, perhaps. Or do we want to put it there? And where's the other one? There's the other one there. And there. And that'll armor it. And then we'll have some more blocks. Again, surrounding that center part. If that center part dies, then it's uh, pretty much game over. Well, it is game over. We've also got these things here, which are, I don't know, they're called riser wheels. I've never used them before. We also have another set of wheels that we could place if we really wanted to do. Like if we wanted to do that. Hmm. What will it do if we put them in here? It will not work, apparently. How, how are they supposed to work? They're very strange, these blocks. I guess you have to place them... Like that? That's just weird. Yes, I don't think we really want that one. It's also not touching the ground either. Or does it go underneath? Oh, it might go underneath, so if I put one there, I might be able to put it... Yes, there we go. Like that. Alright, I see how, I see what it's doing. Oh, do you know what would be cool? If we pull that off, pull that off, and put it under there. Yes, and now that should actually give us better... That might even give us better manoeuvrability, you know, because there's a wheel that's in the centre that's... Um, it does seem to be a bit more manoeuvrable, because that's pushing down there, and maybe that'll alter the, uh... I don't know, I, I don't know if that's helping or not. No, we're going to stick with it, because it's an interesting design. Okay, so, uh, what haven't we got? We haven't got drills on the front, so we do need... Actually, we don't need drills on the front, to be quite honest with you. I'm just putting them on because I can. We're going to put two resource collectors on the top, and that will allow us to, well, gather resources, as you might expect. And we've got two more wheels, which I think what we'll do is we'll keep them on this thing just for storage purposes and actually we've got a lot more wheels we've got some more there we've got another four sets of wheels i could make it even longer wheel based if i wanted to so have that off put that there have that in here like so and then make the wheelbase even longer and have one two, and then a third. Um, I might be overdoing this, but uh, nothing exceeds like excess. Alright, that one there, that one there, and like so. Okay, that's fairly stupid. So we're going to go with it. Two more of these blocks, like that, and like that, and... With this gap at the back, we ideally want to have... If I pull that off, would it break everything? No, it's not, but I'll put that in there to cover it up a bit. That's sort of protected. Um, good grief, it sounds like a greased-up pig on roller skates. That does not turn very well at all now. So, what sort of bot do we want to make? I don't think this is front-facing anymore. I think this is a broadsider. I think it's a broadsider now. So, let's put all of our weapons on the side. So, one, two, three, um, four. I put a, we need to put a radar on it at some point, so let's put it in there. We've also got a dolly wheel here, which I'm going to put at the front just to stop it grounding out, because it is grounding out at the moment pretty much constantly. Um, so, we'll put the... Other guns, uh, rotate them around to there. One, two, and we've actually got three. There's a third one. And five, we're one shot. Are we one shot? 
That's a light. That's a light. Yes, one shot. So I'll have a little chat with the intergalactic space trader and get myself a one of those. Okay, so there's all our guns pointing uh, sideways. What I'm going to do as well is point. Put, I'm going to put ones forward, like so. We'll put a dolly wheel on the back as well. Actually, no. What we'll do? We'll put a dolly wheel there. And we'll put one there, okay? Now what we also want is an area on this thing that will, um, let's just start firing. Oh yeah, that is a broadsider. This is going to be, that's a, a shield bubble. So if I put that on there, what it'll do is you can see it uh, generates a, like a force field of um, protection, which is quite useful. But I want to have that on this robot somewhere. So I'm going to put that there, that there, and then I'll have... That shield there, and then the battery for what that thing here, and that protects not enough. Okay, so that's fine. We'll pull that off, move it around, so we'll do it so we know roughly where it's going to go there and there, which protects mm, just shy of it. So we'll put it. Oh, so it's going to be right on the top of our cab, actually. There we go, and then the battery can go on there. Looks like it needs charging a bit more. So the battery can go in the center there. Right. Then we've got a little light that goes on the top. And finally, a light that points forward in the dark. And what's that over there? Oh, another radar. Um, We'll put a radar front and back, just in case we lose one of them, you see. So that should be fixed. Put that on there. And we have a robot, which is... Hopefully not crap. Right, let's have a little chat with the trading station. Right click on this. Here's some missions. So, crafty business. Uh, a tech called Crafty Mike needs help reassembling his base. Find him in a system. That's Crafty Mike. And we've got uh, Big Yellow. So, Geocop Mining Company have taken interest in your activities. They are requesting that you track and destroy a rogue agent, Big Burner. So, that's another. That gives us a license for Geocop. And it's only 330 meters away. Let's accept that and we'll see what it is like. So, we turn around and. Oh, God. Doesn't, doesn't turn around very much at all. Did you see that thing there? It actually came down and crashed in. That is probably what we're looking for. Look at that bot. Yeah. Badass. Um, oh, there it is. Oh my god, it is massive. Um, okay, I guess we're going to start firing. And we're, like I say, we need to outmaneuver it by getting round the outside and um, shooting it. Now, that is not happening at all. I think it's because I've got... I'm still going forward. Hang on. Hang on. It's working. It's working. If I just keep going around him like so. Ah, he screwed it up. He screwed it up. Part of his uh, vehicle broke and um, I can now do this. Keep going around. Keep going around. Keep broadsiding. I'll tell you what, the camera controls are pretty terrible. They're not tracking properly. Um, I think we're about reet there, aren't we? Are we reet? We're near reet. Uh, my, looks like my shield is broken. Actually, no, the shield's fine. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, Brad. Now Brad comes in. Brad, you can just get away, mate. Just run away. Yeah, you know what? Just, yeah, get in between them. Come on! Come on! Uh, is that working? Uh, sort of. You know what? I'm going to run away. Uh, <laughs> I'm losing too much stuff. I'm going to run away and let him and Brad fight for a while. I'll wait until, I'll wait until one of them has been destroyed. Right, Brad, Brad, Brad. Brad bought the farm, to be honest. Hmm. Not where they expected anything else. Uh, so let's just get around the back again. Um, I don't know what that thing is on the front, but I'm guessing it's some sort of big mining laser. Aha! Geocop license upgrade grade one. Congratulations, Geocop has upgraded your license to grade one. The following blocks can now be purchased from the trading station. Fabric cobblers, big tires, uh, missile launcher of some kind. Yeah, continue. continue. Okay, so, it, oh my good grief. Look at the size of this. Look at, all the, look at the size of some of these parts. That's a battery. Let's put a battery on. Thanks, Brad. That's a big miner. That's another big block. And you know what? We're just going to carry most of this back home because if nothing else, we're going to sell it. But uh, this is what I like about the... Uh, this is one of the things I like about the game, that you get these different parts that look different and are different. Like, they have different... Uh, they have different... properties. Uh, what's that? Shield bubble projector. Excellent. We'll have that. We'll have some of the guns. What's that there? That's just a, like a work light of some kind. Um, it looks like all my wheels are still okay. As far as I can tell. 
Don't think I need any more wheels. In fact, I need less wheels. Uh, that'll do us right. Let's head back and... Oh, my good grief. It is quite heavy. Uh, come on. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. It's uh, unsurprising. Oh, God, no. Don't go. Don't go into the rock field like that. Thank you. Yes, yes, fine. Actually, I was mining that. I've got a mining... Yeah, I have actually got a mining drill on the side. <laughs> good grief. I want to know what that thing is there. I'm going to check it out in a second. I'm going to try and turn towards my base. Although, as you can see... Um, inertia is a bit of a cruel mistress. So, let's go in here and... What is that? Industrial grade heavy mining plasma cutter tool will torch any substance in a matter of seconds. Cool! That is useful. At least I think it's going to be useful. Um, what I'd like to do is... That, that shield bubble is not very good. Um, I... Uh, it's powered... It's a bubble projector, grade 1. I need a grade 2, essentially. Um, but let's just turn around. We're going to dump all of this, all the resources I gathered from the tree I crashed into. I'm going to dump that. Uh, we've still got some little buggy bits where it's... Oh, yep, yep, that's still a problem. Um, you can see what's trying... What's it? <laughs> this thing's trying to grab it off me, but because of where it is, it's uh, giving us a bit of a... A bit of a mess around. Uh, let's just sell all these parts here because I just don't want them. They're too big and uh, I'll be honest, it uh, could be a bit of a nightmare for me to deal with. And we're getting some decent money off it as well so we can buy other parts if we need to. That seems interesting, that drill, so we might keep that one. We don't want that one on the front. Um, sell that one. Look at all these parts I'm getting money for. You get different ones, like uh, there's a speed one that's like all, um, I think it's like a, a white and red colour. I remember seeing it. Is that another mining drill? Oh, we got two of. Oh, well, we don't need you anymore. We don't need you anymore. And we get rid of that and that. And be quite honest with you. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Don't need that or that. Put that on there. Hang on. Rotate it, rotate it round. Anytime you want to go on there, mate, is fine with me. I've only got all day. There we are. And put that on there. Little radar dish. We've already got one on the back. We'll get rid. I was going to keep it, but sack it. And uh, what are we missing out on? Broadside's good there. I'm missing a big section here. So I could take that off. Replace that there. Put that on to rotate. Rotate, please. There we go. And we're missing that one. Battery needs fixing. Put that on there. Put that on there. And... Put a gun in the front. Whoa! You do not want to get in front of this thing. I think it'll be a bit naughty. Right, what's the missions? Uh, we've got buried treasure. You can see who it's for. I think we'll go and find... Uh, Jess and Cargo. Ooh, yes. A new part as well. Let's get that. All right, cool. And you can actually see it landing was over there. So, we'll come back to this and we need to first take the batteries, put it on here and I need to redesign this base. I'm, at the moment I'm just sort of clamping everything together which is not great. That's actually not charging up properly. We do need to charge it up. Let's just make sure we're inside this. You can see it's flashing green to uh, show that we are actually repairing bits. Um, speaking of bits, we are a little bit short of something so we're going to get that and then put it on there and... It should be about reet now. I think we're reet. Uh, yeah. Um, it fires. It moves. Uh, we are missing one of those. So what I'll do is I'll make it more centralised, you see. I'm actually going to move the radar into... I'm just going to put a radar on the top there. And finally, what is the battery charged? Battery's almost charged. Once the battery's fully charged, I'm going to clamp it on this thing and head over there. In fact, I could, if I want to, take all of this with me, but um, I'm not. So there's the end of that chat. Let's just put the battery on there, and that will power up um, apparently two shield generators. In fact, what I'll do then, I'll put a shield generator on here. Uh, we won't put it there, though. We want to put it on there so it protects it and gives us a repair. Because we don't need double shields on this. Um, that is about centralised, so that's fine. So, we'll head over here. There's going to be loads of resources. And let's see if we get ambushed, because looks like there's a delivery crate over there. Let's see what it's hiding. Looks like there was a tree there, but it's... Yeah, there we go. What a surprise. What a surprise. Let's see how it likes mining drill in the face. Yeah, it, it, it dislikes mining drill. It is not a big fan of drill of mining. And, uh... 
Yes, yes, yeah, 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 that didn't take long at all. And what's it flinging out at us? That is a... Not a clue. And a couple of other parts, which we... Why is there no trees over there? Look at that, they're completely ruined. Um, okay, what's that? That's a... Oh, that's a, like, a laser of some kind. Sweet. Let's put that on there, that on there, and... Uh, come on, we grounded out, that's the problem here. What we need is... What's that? Nah, nothing. What we need is more of these collectors. Uh, there's a, there's also an enemy robot right in front of here, and um, he's not going to last long, so I'm just going to charge straight into him. And, uh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 that's uh, fairly, fairly decisive, isn't it, to be honest with you? <laughs> Although he is shooting me, cheeky git. Um, to be fair, I just rammed into him and destroyed him very quickly. But yes, let's uh, get rid of that. This is one of the problems I was having with the game, uh at other times though where essentially all these little robots are annoying you now like they can't defeat me but they still turn up although saying they can't defeat me this one is giving me a bit of a run for my money because he's so fast I've got that's why I've got broadside though I'm just gonna broadside next to him I hope the trader doesn't mind a couple of scratches in his paintwork because I am actually hammering him and there you go and I will just um sell his rotting corpse there we go I mean, this game is essentially the film Wally, -E, but like an 18 rating. So, uh, let's head back over this side. We'll repair this. Actually, we need to probably put a battery in. Let's get the old Duracells in there, like so. Other batteries and energy solution storage systems are available. Um, right, so let's repair all that. Don't really want that on the back. I think that's a weapon for the front end. Uh, we do need to get a, one of those to repair it. And we're going to put it on the back like that, which will just uh, rotate, rotate, rotate. It'll find the right orientation eventually. There we go. Right, so there's that. I'm going to... How much is it to get a resource collector? It'll be under... Yeah, collector one. And we can't get any more. That's interesting. It's interesting that we can't get any more. I don't know why. I'm guessing I'm going to have to get it from here. Okay. There's also the trading station has more missions. Uh, fine, crafty mic. Okay, fine. And... Solar generator. Ooh, a, a three pound cannon. Oh god, what's this doing now? Another bot fancies his chances. He's not going to last much longer. Oh, good grief. Come on. Go away. Go away, away. It knows how to get behind me, which is really annoying. Um, and it's also got some, it's also got some good cannons, right? Let's just drive off. I can probably out... I can't outmaneuver it. But I can outgun it. It's just getting my guns in the right arc. Go. There we go. Them mining lasers really start hurting. Come on. And it's gone. Completely gone. In fact, there's very much... Very, very much... Destructions. That wasn't even a full sentence, but... Uh, just getting excited over destroying that horrible robot. Right. Um. That's an, is that another bit that's fallen off me? I think it might have been. Hang on. There we go. Right, so, we wanted... Uh, we've got those two. We do need to have a little... Look around here. That's a rotating anchor. Still haven't found a use for that. Pound cannon, three pound cannon. Uh, manufacturing blocks. Another one of these, so one, two. These are the collectors. And we're going to put one on the back. And finally on here. What's that one there, actually? It's a turret. GSO anchored AI module makes building turrets even easier. It will rotate full 360 degrees to shoot any enemy and text that appears. Cool! Sadly, it only works when it's uh, on, a, on the ground, but that's fine because this is my base here. So if I connect it to there, will it work? No, but if I put it there, will it work? Yes, it will. Cool. Have I got another one as well? That one there. Because it just says a... It just says a... Um, it's a rotating anchor. <laughs> Still don't know if that will shoot. I'm gonna put that on there as well. Look, double gun. Sweet, it's like a servo skull. Okay, so my battery is 
Not fully powered. Put that in. Now it's fully powered. Right, let's go back and see if there's all these resources over here. I don't think it will. I think it will have a a, a despawn. Uh, oh, no, this, there are some resources. Look. Well, one. There's also a horrible git chasing me. Right. Um, really, really, do you think you're going to... Do you think this is going to work out for you? There we go. As soon as I get the mining lasers in arc, it just, it just, they just disappear. They're robots. And it's fallen over, so let's just, uh, yeah, yeah, just, just drill, drill, drilled, gone, dead. Cool. The problem is I'm not actually really capturing anything. I'm more just destroying everything. Let's just actually use these mining lasers to, yeah, we can just go through trees like that. Look at all the resources we've gathered. Gathered? Gathered. Um, I wonder if we can do the same, oh god. Um, there's still some bits we haven't got. Looks like the bubble's not powered either because we've just ran out of energy. But, I can go here and, there we go, there's a lot of resources, sold. Only six each, but there's other there's other stuff as well, so you've got rocks, uh, you've got some random crystals and stuff like that. But yeah, there we go. Back to the shield gen, put the battery in for a charge up, that's not the battery, that's the battery. There we go, and yeah, I think I need a redesign. This is decent. But it wasn't built around these front mining lasers, which are really our main... I think they're our main sort of damaging component now. So what we need to do is make a make a bot that's much better at driving around and turning. I mean, this thing is... It's very stable. It's not bouncing all over the place like some other things that I've made, because it's not very light. But at the same time, the problem it has is, um, oh god, look at that snap go through all of those. Uh, the problem it has is that it uh, just doesn't turn. And that's not something we want for uh, a bot that really relies on getting its front front towards enemy. It's very much a Claymore robot. Um, speaking of Claymore robots, uh, looks like one of the one of these ones just landed. And uh, it had a couple of guns pointed forwards. It didn't last very long at all. Is that what's that? Is that one of my guns? No, no. I can put some more guns on if I really want to. Because there's no like energy to fire your guns or anything. You can just put as pretty much as much as you want on, which is always useful. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there. That is a little bit of Terror Tech. Hmm. I mean, the game's been out. Ooh, I think I've it's been out a couple of years now, and I'm glad to see it's um, really getting. Uh, a little more mature. Like, obviously, being early access and alpha and stuff, you can understand there's going to be certain bugs, there's going to be glitches, things like that, and you sort of forgive it that. Uh, but there's a certain point where you go, look, you've had a couple of years, are you actually going to get on with it? And, uh, yeah, it seems to be, it seems to have matured quite nicely. Still can't really test for the longevity of it, because uh, this is as far as I've got in this campaign on this build. But, uh, yeah, I'm interested to actually continue on and build more build more bots. I like the, um, the the mission mechanic and stuff, and it gives you a reason to go out and find different things. And also, you get different... Um, oh, these aren't levels. These are, looks like the sort of uh, reputations, I guess, with the different factions. So we've got Geocorp, and we've got uh, GSO, is it? Hang on. Uh, GSO, yeah. And then you've got one Venture, Hawkeye, Experimental, and Special. I'm guessing these are the four main factions. Experimental, don't know what that is, and special might be like Santa's hat. Actually, it is a Santa's hat, you can see there. Um, in fact, I remember playing, ooh, years and years ago now, and there was a Santa challenge type thing. And there might be some. I don't know if this was Kickstarter, but maybe there's some Kickstarter stuff there. Who knows? Either way, links are in the description, so you can check it out yourself. If you want to see more of this, by all means, let me know, and we'll go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.